All right, here's example number two. Um, we've got two different box plots to analyze here. You can see listed above with the first, middle, and third quartile R. And the interquartile range is, um, we're looking at the range of our box. Um, so for FEDS data, it started close to four, started at three and a half, and the other end of the box is six and a half. So that range is three. Um, then Jonah's data from five and a half to eight is a two and a half range. Okay. So Finn and Jonah analyze the measures of center and variability of the data they collected. Finn notices that the box for his data set is longer. So he's just talking about the box, not the stem um, or the whiskers, so to, so to speak. So just the box, right? For his data set is longer than the box for Jonah's data set and concludes that his data set has greater variability. Um, do these measures support that assessment? So can we just look at the size of the box and say what the variability is? Not always, okay? The stems are also going to indicate things as well. But the more condensed a box can be, um, the more we say that that data, there's a lot of evidence in that data. So I would kind of counter proposal to that. His does have a larger box and that means that that shows that his data is more spread out right but what we notice is their min and their max is also very equal to, so those it definitely shows that his data is equally distributed as more variability now if jonah's data did not have the same min and maxes and let's say we take this stem and it ended up being here and we take the stem and we end up being here okay does he have the same variability? It looks pretty similar in the sense like we've got equal parts that are about the same size. So all four of these parts in Jonah's set would be about the same size, where Finn, all four of his parts look like they're almost about the same size. So um, if we could match that with different lengths of our whisker or those stems, then we wouldn't have that argument. But I agree um, with Finn in this case, just based on where the rest of the data uh, ended up falling. And with Jonah's data, most of his number, 50% just falls in this small range, um, which is a tighter range than Finn's.